Welcome back! In the previous video we've looked at reasons why you want to use lookup functions and that was because direct links in spreadsheets are going to be messed up if you change your data on the other side, for example by sorting. And I really hope you have this ingrained into your spreadsheet brain that if you see a formula like this, if you see a direct link in your own worksheets or in the spreadsheet that your colleague has made for example, try to think, is this really the best way to organize my spreadsheet? Am I really sure that that C2 is going to contain the same value if I look at this spreadsheet tomorrow? So what can we do about this? We can use lookup functions. And those will be explained in this week's videos. But first, let's take a step back and not talk about spreadsheets for like one minute. What actually does it mean if you're looking up a value? Let's look at that outside of the spreadsheet context in, well, the canonical example of looking something up, a phone book. What are the three ingredients that you use if you look something up in a phone book? Well, first of all, you have a value that you're looking for. In this case, the name Bauer. That's what we are looking up. The second ingredient is what are we looking in? In this case, the phone book of namesandnumbers.com. And the third ingredient isn't actually that obvious. The third ingredient of searching is what am I going to return? In this example, we're returning the town in which Bauer lives. And these three ingredients are also occurring in lookup functions in a spreadsheet. So let's look at how did that looks. We use a formula here. First of all, we're going to get rid of those direct links. We will select them and just say right click, clear contents. We don't want to see those direct links again. Now we have room to input our new formula, the VLOOKUP. So we just type VLOOKUP in our formula. And then we input the three ingredients for looking up. First of all, what are we looking for? That's the code. Second, what are we looking in? The product info worksheet. And third of all, what are we going to return? The third column of the product info worksheet. And now you see we have the associated price with the bench, in this case, the B809 product code. So quick question, is this formula perfect? Apart from whether or not you know if you look up function, can you spot what actually is wrong with this formula? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. It's not perfect, right? You know that, because I forgot the dollar signs. If I draw this formula down now, you'll see that the links get messed up because I didn't input the dollar sign. So let's fix that first. Just delete the original reference and add the dollar signs. By the way, you don't have to do it manually as I do here. What you can also do is select the reference and hit F4, and then the dollars will be inputted for you. So we drag this formula down, and now you can see it is perfect. We're looking up the right values. So maybe you missed what I did here because it went a little bit quickly. Let's take a step back and do all the things step for step. All the lookup ingredients point exactly at what they are. So remember the three ingredients. What are we looking for? What are we looking in? And what are we going to return? You see that they occur in the VLOOKUP function as well. The first part is, what am I looking for? This is the code. The second part is, what am I looking in? It's this part of the product info worksheet. And the final argument, I would say, is the most tricky because it, it's just a number. It doesn't really look spreadsheety with a reference. And it actually means, what number of column am I going to return? So in this case, it's three, which means I'm returning the third column of the whole range that I have selected. And then you see, we, with this, we obtain the selling price for each of the codes. We can do the exact same thing if we also want to look up the names associated with a certain code. The only thing we have to change is in case of the names, we're looking for the second column to return. So the rest of the formula is the same. We're looking for the same value in the same range. We're only returning a different value. And with that, we have made a perfect connection between two worksheets based on the codes that occur in both of them. In the next video, we're going to look at the mysterious fourth parameter of the lookup function that I have not yet used in this video. See you there!